Hello, I'm back, and I have a different camera angle, although I'm not really sure I enjoy this any better. But I think you might be able to see what I'm doing a little bit better. So I am Katie Scott with Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking, and I am going to do a layout. And this was a layout that I had started and then had some problems with it. And a, an Ella, an old Ella publishing friend of mine, she's not old, and neither am I, um, just a little, uh, Barb Wong. And by the way, I'm Katie Scott with Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking and I just really love scrapbooking. Um, but she emailed me a sketch, and so the sketch for a different way to accomplish what I wanted to do on this layout because I had a circle that I wanted to use and I also had this long journaling, so I was thinking like how am I going to get that all on a 12 by 12 page? So I, um, I did the hidden journaling thing but Barb suggested a different idea. And so I wanted to try that, but I had already finished this page when I got her email. So I need a, a circle, and I have these, but I really want a circle because the, the page that I'm making is about our, what we call the circle table. So I just, this is like the second, I'm still really learning how to use stream, but this is the second email of the day, so there's an, or of the evening. Not just a, it's like the fourth or fifth uh, use stream of the day. Um, but this is, these are the pictures that I'm going to use. So I have cut them, I think, to three and a quarter squares. And so they're ready to go. This is, um, so it's not exactly the same sketch that she showed me. But I'm going to show you just real quick uh, what her sketch looks like. I just, I'm going to make these lines easier for you to see that. So she suggested to make the circle kind of go off the page and then I could put that journaling in. So I really like the idea and I'm going to try that right now. Um, so I need a giant circle and I don't have one. And let me just cut it off. <laughs> this is so weird. Um, okay. I um, I'm going to go get a plate from the kitchen and trace it and circle it out that way. And then I have a neat idea on how to make those scallops uh, that I've seen recently. I can't remember where I saw the idea, but I'll show you what it is. And I haven't tried it yet, so we'll try it together. So I'll be right back. I'm back with a plate, and yeah, miraculously enough, the plate looks about the same size. So I'm going to go just find a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that I want to use as my background for the circle part. So I probably want that to be, I don't know, I'm, uh, what I usually like to do is I usually, if I have a big element on the page like that, I like to have one thing have the pattern paper and then one be more um, less or less busy, I guess you would say. So I'm thinking that on Barb's sketch that the background, I think I will choose a busy pattern for that. So I'm going to choose a less busy pattern for what will be the circle or the mat of my photos. So I just need, a, I want to just a and what I might want to do is choose that, whatchamacallit, I'm going to do this really fast. This, um, I have like a, I don't think you can see it, I'm going to show you. I have a, one of those things, paper displays, that I got from one of my local scrapbooking stores when they went out of business. And now I stock it with paper that I don't care about anymore because my daughter <laughs> will come in and have her way with this. So, um, but I did just happen to have, and I, I didn't plant it, I swear. Um, but I had this, and it might meets the criteria of it's busy, and also it, um, it sort of matches the clothes that I have 
in this photo. So I'm going to use that as my background paper. And I use a guillotine um, trimmer, so I'm going to bring that out. I'm also going to move this over here. Still seriously getting used to this, so bear with me or wait till I get better and then watch. Um, <laughs> one or the other, doesn't matter. Um, okay, so this I need to trim a little bit. Okay, so I'm starting this layout. Where am I into the show? Usually, okay, I'm five minutes and 47 seconds, so let's just say six minutes into the show, and let's see how long it takes. Six minutes in. Okay, so I'm just trimming off the, like, it tells you what kind of paper it is. And for your information, it's Dasher by Basic Gray. It's called Letter to Santa. But it's not it's not exactly uh, Christmassy, so I think it works on any kind of layout. The other thing I like about this paper for this layout is that table that we had that I'm using in this. Um, the table was all banged up. And this kind of has like that grungy look to it, which reminds me of the table. Uh, so my next decision is what color am I going to use for the, like that circle? I know I thought, we, we thought we already went through that, right? I think I'm going to use either a light pink or um, not light green, like a kind of a neutralish color. Possibly pink or white. Very weird. I'm back though. Hello, here I am. Um, so when I choose paper, I like to do that. I just kind of like to do it as quickly as possible. I don't like to belabor the situation. So here's a piece that will work. It's um, it's not pink or white. It's kind of a blue. You can't really see it. Um, but it has, you can sort of see it that way. Nope. I don't know. Anyways, it's Decorative Cardstock by Chatterbox Loft Swirls. So I just, I, this caught my eye because it has little tiny circles in it. And the theme of this is my circle table. So now I need that plate. Plate, where did you go? Plate. Hello, Tina. <laughs> this could be really boring, so <laughs> this is one of my first attempts. Uh, I'm trying to do this sketch here, and I try to do scrapbooking as quickly as possible, but this is one of my first YouTube tries, so we'll see how that goes. I'm actually tracing a plate right now, and I want to make sure that my photos will fit on it, and I think they will if I just trace it like that. So. Here's to frugal scrapbooking because you don't need any tools to do this. I say the same thing watching me. Hello, Keith. Um, do you have a Ustream show? I was amazed at how many people have Ustream shows on scrapbooking. It's kind of cool, right? Because we can um, almost have like a virtual crop after our families go to bed. I kind of love that because I can never make it out to a real crop because I'm just, I'm busy. And I had this not like the last thing I want to do on a Friday night. So I am just cutting this out. Plus you can't bring your whole scrapbooking room with you when you go to a crop. But I, I actually would like to get together with some real life scrapbookers and I have some here. I live in St. Petersburg, Florida. And there's actually lots of folks, or lots of girls, women, who scrap up in my area, so. I am with your paper. Okay. I can't read the whole thing, so I don't know. Maybe I don't have this big enough. I don't think I can. Oh, here we go. I say the same things to people. I am with your paper pantry. Okay. So do you sell scrapbooking things, or do you have a show? Tina Hales. Um, okay, so it's going to look sort of like this, but 
but I want to make like the scallopy thing like this one had um, but this paper came already made so I've seen it where people have made this um, bordery thing with a, a punch and I want to try that I've never done that um, so I have in this basket I like to have a lot of uh, scraps at close hand so my desk is usually quite messy and I sort of like it that way I've discovered <laughs> although every once in a while it will get so messy and then I clean the ducts and then I then I start all over and make another mess so these um, I went to the CHA okay we, some we are an online group of 200 ladies. Cool. Very cool. So this is a, I'm just looking through this Jenny Bolin, um, it's like a sample thing. It's like what, it's like kind of like her catalog. But her papers are so cute that I've been, um, not with these, but I've been punching them out and just using the little bits and they're adorable. If um, I needed more scrapbook supplies, which I really don't, because I have too many already, um, I would buy Jenny Bolin stuff because it's so cute. But I just cannot find any of it. So I also keep this little jar um, of scraps. And so these were some that I did punch out and da -da -da, <laughs> from Jenny Bolin. So I punched them out as squares, but I'm actually going to use them as circles. And I think they're going to work well for my idea here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to totally execute this, but we will see. We will see. Um, let's see. So I am 12 minutes in. So usually I don't spend six minutes talking. Um, but let's go faster. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm not going to use those little scraps. I think I just want one uniform border thing. So, I think maybe Tina. Are you still there? <laughs> Again, you hear me now? Um, I just, uh, I think I want something kind of dark. And just so that's going to pop out. So, I've got this black scrap strip. And I need to find my circle punch. I've got it down here. I don't think you can see me, but I'm right here. I'm still here. Yep. Okay. This is a Marby punch. And I'm just going to go through. And I've seen this done. I think this is how you do it. I'm just going to punch. I'm not the best technique person that ever lived as far as scrapbooking goes. Um, I'm more interested in telling the story and the photographs and I although I'm not a super photographer either, I'm just a regular photographer. Um, but I just I'm not as interested in how to scrapbook as or how to do the stuff in scrapbooking as I am with the process, like the mental process of scrapbooking. And I know that sounds, oh, see, I don't think this is, it sort of is. But you make a scallop like this. Can you see that? I think that will work, actually. So I, I honestly have no clue how this is done. And I think I'm going to need more black than this. Um, so I need another strip. I do keep my strips. I like scrap strips in this thing. And I keep this pretty handy too so I can just get to it pretty easily. So I just need something dark that's uh, black with white polka dots. That will work. So I'm going to punch out some more uh, circles. Usually I turn this punchy thing over so I can see what I'm doing. Thank you, Tina. She says she's inviting. I'm 
exciting. Yes, I'm in St. Petersburg, Florida. Which is um right near Tampa. I'm originally from Maine and Massachusetts, so I'm like a New England girl. But I've been down here since I graduated from high school, which is crazy enough. Like twenty two years ago now. So I am ancient. I'm getting there. Um it's just so weird that time goes by so short, fast, um, explains the shorts, yeah, it's actually, I put on, um, my long sleeves because I thought that way you wouldn't see my, like, fat arms, or I just thought it would show up better, <laughs> but it's hot here, so, yeah, I would, I usually wear, um, short sleeve shirt too, but, okay, so this is not going to be the most matchy thing that ever lived, um, Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I've got my glue stick. I'm also kind of adhesively challenged, so I never. I use a glue stick, and I also use these things. I don't use a tape runner. Oh, you're in Canada. What part of Canada are you from? I used to live on the border of Canada. Oh, okay. You're on the west. That sounds like it's really pretty out there from the Winter Olympics. Um, looks so pretty. Um, can you see? I'm going to do this and then it'll look like a scallop on that side. I lived on, um, I lived in Calais, Maine growing up and that was on the border of Canada and I used to take ice skating lessons in Canada when I was a little girl. And one of my scrapbooky friends on the internet who called herself Canada Cole like lives right where in Canada where I used to take the ice skating lessons. So it's like small world, I think. It's just kind of groovy. Oh, this is really cute. I've never tried this, but I'm already in love with this little technique here. I don't know if I saw this on a... I did not invent this technique, but I saw it somewhere, but I can't remember where. It might have been on Flickr. I'm on Flickr a lot when I work out. Oh, cool. Cool. Fun. Uh, Tina's saying, I went to CHA in Chicago this summer. That's so cool. I went to CHA in Orlando last summer, and I'm going to bet that's the only time I'll ever make it to CHA because, um, can you see how this is coming out so far? So it looks kind of like uh, that, sort of, kind of. Um, I went to CHA when it was in Orlando last summer, and I met up with some people that I knew online, including, um, I was on, I was an Ella publishing friend last year, so I actually had Angie Lucas and Lane Amon, and, um, they, they t when we were all on our way going there, I was emailing Lane and asking her, you know, where are you going to be? Do you need a ride? That kind of thing. And she told me that she was going to be way far away from where it was. And I had rented a, like a two bedroom condo, which wasn't, it wasn't anything, I mean, it was, it was cheap, um, down there. And so they actually ended up staying with me. And it was really, really cool because the cool thing about scrapbookers is that even if you meet them online, when you meet them in real life, it almost feels like you already know them. Did you feel like that when you met your friends? Are you still listening? Can you hear me now? Um, and so it was like, it's so cool, I think, when you meet scrapbookers in real life because it's kind of like you speak the same, yeah, she's saying yes. Um, I don't think later, if you're watching this later, you can see the chat, but she's saying yes, exactly. And so, here's this part. But, yeah, it's like we speak the same language. And so, yesterday was Halloween, and I, um, I don't know, I think I'm talking too loud, sorry. Um, maybe I'll, oh well. Um, so my husband had asked this friend of his to come over and go trick-or-treating with us, because where we live is kind of a nice place to go trick-or-treating. It's a nice, it's a circle, my neighborhood, and so it's just easy to walk around and, of little old ladies, so it's a nice place to go trick-or-treating. 
Um, so the friend came over and he had a new girlfriend with him and um, I didn't know her. She looked like nice enough. But like five minutes into um, them being at our, thank you, she's saying she likes the circle so far. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> and, uh, anyways, five minutes into this girl coming over um, for trick-or-treating, she says, and I, I'm having her, or I'm, I'm taking pictures of the kids as they're going out trick-or-treating, she says, you're a scrapbooker, aren't you? <laughs> and I almost thought she was saying it like an insult, you know, because some people, you know, aren't keen on scrapbooking. And so I just, you know, because she's a really pretty um, girl and a woman, and so I kind of thought she probably isn't into scrapbooking. Not that we scrapbookers aren't pretty, because, you know, we are. But um, she just didn't look like the scrapbooking type to me, and because um, she was very pretty and you know, I don't know, but <laughs> so I said, yeah. She said, "Are you? You're a scrapbooker, aren't you?" And I said, "Yes." Yeah. And then, you know, there is a lot of things going on, getting the kids out for, ta-da, um, getting the kids to get out the door to go scrap, to go trick or treating. And so we start walking around the island, and um, we live on an island, so that's why it's a circle. Uh, but we start walking around and. We get to chatting, and she says, um, th she's a scrapbooker, too. Okay, so here's where my my photos are going to go on this circle. I need that thing that, ta-da. And so this is my sketch, and I think I'm going to actually do it that way. I don't know. I might do it this way. I don't think it really matters. I think I'm just going to start pasting and tell you my story. Um, but she's a scrapbooker too, and she was like, "We need to get together and do some do a crop." And I always sort of cringe when people say that to me because, in theory, that's awesome. I want to get together. I want to scrapbook with people that I, you know, that are right now, you know, right around. You just said stuff. She's laughing. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> but um, so she's like, you know, we should get together and do some scrapbooking. And the problem, like, the wonderful thing about that is, I think it's great in theory to get together with other people and to to do scrapbooking. I would love to do that. But I am so busy just with keeping up with life. I've, I'm married. Uh, I have two kids. Um, one is six, almost seven, and the other one is eight. And um, one of them goes to karate. But we really don't do a lot of extracurricular things. No, I am a lawyer. <laughs> she says, are you a school teacher or a hairdresser? Um, I am a lawyer, and uh, I think one of the reasons that I love scrapbooking and I love to be a little silly is that um, uh, my day job is quite serious. And so, <laughs> you know, we had a, a, you know, kind of a stressful day at work today, and I love to come home and just be able to after the kids go to bed usually or sometimes even before they do um, and, and my little girl scrapbook, scrapbooks with me quite a bit but um, I like to just forget about all the stress of the day and just really escape into something different completely different than what I do so I love to scrapbook and I also I love to talk so the problem would be how do I get somebody over for a real life scrapbooking crop you know, at 11.30 on a Monday night. It's just not going to happen. Um, <laughs> and then at any moment, you know, the kids could wake up and come down and need something or my dogs will need to go out or, you know, there's just lots of things to do as a working mom in life to keep you busy. So I love the idea of this Ustream thing because it's almost like a virtual crop. Right? And that's what the that's what I'm planning for this for my Ustream show is to say like okay everybody you know bring two pieces of paper and your circle punch or whatever and then we could all work on something together I think that would be fun because my other thing is usually if you were 24 minutes <laughs> um, 
usually I like to do things really quickly. I did, I actually did, um, Tina, I did some classes at my local scrapbook store, and um, that actually closed recently, but they're reopening as something else. But um, I liked the teaching. It was fun. But again, it was hard for me to get out of the house and to devote the time to it. So I like the idea of being able to do it at home whenever I want. Are you recording? I think so. Um, so there's my page so far. And where do you do you do classes on the on the computer? Now I need like a little bordery thing around the pictures. And lately I've been in, in love with these um, K and Company. Uh, let me just stick right on there. You get them at the craft store for 40% off, like four dollars. So that doesn't work out to be too bad. Um, okay, I'm not completely in love with this, but <laughs> I'm trying to prove that I'm a speed scrapbooker, which I really am, but uh, it doesn't really seem like I am today, um, because I'm talking so much. Yes, you have to hit the button. I think I did. We'll see. I did some this morning, and one of them, <laughs> I talked for like uh, an hour and a half. And um, did not hit the audio button, so <laughs> it's um, an hour and a half of me gesturing, but you can't hear anything. So live and learn. But this—that's what I—that's where I am right now—is just kind of in the learning process of this. So that's okay. Oh, cool! I need. <laughs> Tina says, I do cricket and gypsy classes. Hold on. Um, and I have a cricket, but I need a class. Because <laughs> I don't know how to use it. It's in here. This is my cricket. <laughs> I have cricket supplies that have never been opened. Um, I have, like, cartridges and all sorts of stuff for my cricket several of these things. I know this is the one that came with it, but I have like uh, three or four of these. And let me tell you, I don't know how to use the Cricut. It, um, it always seems like I'm not cutting. <laughs> oh my God, never open. Yeah, it's, it's very, very sad. My husband bought me the Cricut as a present, um, but I've never really bonded with it. But I know a lot of people love their Cricut. And actually, when we were trick-or-treating, the very next question that the girl asked me after, you know, are you a scrapbooker? Hey, I'm a scrapbooker too. Her very next question is, and I'm not kidding, do you have a cricket? <laughs> and that was like, I guess in her mind, you know, like you're a real scrapbooker if you've got a cricket. And um, I said, I, I have one, but I, um, it's not really used. And so I do need to learn how to use the cricket. So, I guess if I was going to do a, I don't know if I had a, I don't know how to edge that off. Um, so I'm just not going to. <laughs> I know so many people love their cricket. Um, I guess I just need to learn how to use it or have someone show me how to use it. Maybe I should take your class because um, I just, I'm just inept with my cricket. It's really sad. Okay. So I'm going to do, I did like a topper and a bottomer with those stickers and then I'm going to do that little thing in the middle. I thought you were doing an 8x8. Um, actually I have been doing a lot of 8x8s um, but this is a 12x12. Was I doing an 8x8 in the last one? I don't think I was. But I'll show you what I've... I picked this, these books up at the... at a scrapbooking yard sale. I think they're by Heidi Slop. And I have been doing a lot of 8x8 scrapbooking. And I like this size. It's an easy size to work with. Like, really easy and fun. So you can use, like, one picture and feel like you've accomplished something pretty quickly. So I really, 
I like the 8 by 8 size. I did. That was that fun. Paige, that was like a photo collage and just some stickers. And these pages just go together so quick that I really love. I love you, 8 by 8 <laughs> Scrapbooker thing. Bottomer is a word. <laughs> um, it's so funny. Uh, yeah, but this one is 12 by 12. So I really do all sizes of scrapbooking. I do um, the 12 by 12s. I do this size, which is like a notebook or a 8.5 by 11 size. So I do that size. I do the 8 by 8. I do 6 by 6. I do just kind of whatever I'm in the mood to do. Um, it's kind of random. I like to. Yeah, I like to do all the different things. So there is the layout so far. And here is the layout, or here is this idea that Barb sent. And I can't remember. She had the title on there somewhere. But I think that what I will do, let me see, I'm 31 minutes in. Okay. So this was my, this was my dilemma page. And so this is my, this one is my Inspired by Barb Wong. Page. So she was um, an Ella publishing friend along with me last year. And so I can't remember where she had the title. But now I'm going to see where I'm going to put the journaling on. And now I don't want to. <laughs> I have the dilemma of I think this is pretty, so I don't really want to cover that up. But let's see. So I need something to journal on, and I need a title. Um, Jimmy Hello. Thank you. Okay, so I'm reading this. I saw the one I saw you show. Okay. Um, okay, so journaling. And one thing I've been listening to, and I, I actually joined um, Noelle Hyman's paper clipping membership thing. And um, she's like, she does these Ustream videos, which like gave me the idea to do this, but she, one of her tips is if you always have trouble looking for something, if you find yourself always looking for something in your scrapbooking room or area, that's what you need to organize. So what I always have trouble finding is a space for journaling. So I put all my journaling things in one place. I'll be right back. I'm going to get them. Well, they're sort of all in one place. <laughs> they're more truthfully in a couple of places, but they're still all together, so they're still easily accessible. So, just like a shoebox full of um, journaling bits and pieces. And so, I want something kind of long, and I, have ever seen these? They're like, get them at the craft store, and they're, you know, a dollar. And I'm sure they're not acid free or whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just gonna see about putting that on the side here, like off the, a little bit off the page, and then it is gonna cover up that pretty flower. But then I'm not loving the fact that that's so squarish and my paper. The whole point is being a circle, so I don't think I'm going to do that, actually. I think I have an idea. All right, so I have some of these. This is going to work. I have some just basic index cards that I got from Office Depot, and I think I'm going to cut them into little circles over there for the journaling. We'll see how that works. Uh, so I need a circle punch, I believe. Okay, in this way. A little drink. I'm trying to lose weight, so I try to drink a lot of water. I need a circle punch. Okay, I didn't find a circle punch, but I did find this thing, which is like a scallop circle punch. So I'm just, I want to do this like kind of off the page just like I did the other part here. So I got one. I think that'll work. 
And usually, I know there's the whole rule of three thing, but I actually think I'm just going to use two here. I think that will work space-wise better. Okay. So I think I would like them to look like that, maybe? But I think I'm going to put, I want them to be edged like this, but I'm not going to take the time to cut out tiny little circles. So I think I'm just going to like use a black marker to edge around them. I guess I could use ink to do that, but I really am a fan of the Sharpie. So I'm going to use my Sharpie to do that. I can find one. See, I am trying to lose weight. These shorts are a lot looser, but they still look like I'm looking at myself in there, and it, it makes me cringe. <laughs> but that's life. Um, yeah. Okay, here we go. So I'm just, I know you probably can't see this, but I'm just going to color on the edges of this just to make it look like it's got those same scallops in black that that big circle had. So this is uh, kind of fast here. Can you see that? You can't see that at all. Just trust me. <laughs> really coloring them in. But yeah, I used to teach a class called Scrap Your Scraps at my local scrapbook store. Scrapbooking in Paradise. And uh, what we would do is everybody would bring, like, say, ten pieces of paper they didn't care for anymore. And so we weren't actually using scraps. It should have been called, like, scrap the paper you just don't love anymore. <laughs> but if you have somebody else using your paper, then it's instantly more new and exciting again. So it's new to someone else. Like, you know, one person's trash is another man's treasure kind of thing. So I have someone in my chat room called Jimmy Fap Fap. Jimmy, are you a scrapbooker? Because <laughs> I'm kind of like, just from your name, thinking that maybe you're a, not a scrapbooker. I don't know. Do you scrapbook, Jimmy? Hello. <laughs> Hello, Jimmy Fap Fap. It's a funny name. Um, I like funny. Okay, off topic there. Um. So I've been scrapbooking probably for about 10 years in the modern sense, but I've really been like a kind of a scrapbooker. Can you see that? Not really. Um, my whole life. I just, there, you can see that. See, I just, that's just an index thing. And then, that's okay, Tina. You can teach me how to emboss too. She says I'm embossing so I can't hear. I don't know how to emboss. I mean, I, I've done it. I did it once. Actually, I did it at the CHA with, um, what's her face? Um, Judy Watanabe, who is so adorable. Um, she, I went to her class on how to emboss. But I, it was fun while I was doing it with, in the class, but I, it's not really something that I would probably have in my everyday repertoire, but I probably should. I don't know. So got that? I don't think so. I think maybe just maybe just one instead of two. I made two, but I'm thinking two is too weird because um, it covers up this pretty flower that I sort of like, and. I think just one, actually. I made two. But I think I'll just use the blue. I'm going to skip the pink. Maybe I'll use it on a different part of the layout. Okay. So I usually will journal right onto my page. And I usually just take a second to think about what I want to say. And then I just write. And then just whatever comes out, that's it. Um, 
And I still haven't put a title on here, so I still need to figure out where that's going to go. So I know that we're taking way too long. I'm taking way too long. I'm 40 minutes. I started this 5 minutes in, so that's like 35 minutes. And that's a long time for me to com complete a layout. With Even with talking, that just kind of annoys me that it's taking so long. And not that I don't love, I love to scrapbook, but I just love to get, I just somehow <laughs> in my brain think it's better if I can do it faster. I know that doesn't make any sense. So there's where I am so far. So I'm not really, I have gone astray of Barb's sketch, which I will put up on my blog later so you can take a look at that. But I kind of like. I like the placement of this, so I'm going to, I'm going with that. I might do my title maybe down here. I don't know, it depends on the letters that I'm going to use. Um, so, but I want to do the journaling up here, and in my journaling, what I'm, what this layout is, the meaning of this layout is we have this table, and you can't really see it very well in this picture, but you can see it better in this layout, we had this table where we used to, it was like our informal pl place where we would eat, but we also had family meetings there. So if the kids were being naughty, you, they would, everyone would need to sit at the circle table, <laughs> and then I was going to tell you things, and then we were, you know, we would make you, the children repeat. <laughs> we just now tell us what you just said, what we just said, and then I would write down some rules, and you know there is sometimes punishment afterwards, and just depending on what the problem was. So I, I, these pictures are kind of funny because I did them with the self timer, and so they're me like scolding and looking mean. I'm just, I'm just faking it though because, and there's me with the timer like you're in timeout. Uh, you can't really see it, but like you sit right here, <laughs> and I'm gonna talk to you about what you just did. Um, this is like kind of a parenting, my parenting strategy. So, um, I don't know what I want. Want to title it? Maybe I should. Um, you should be cutting out. Hold on. You should be cutting out your letters with the Cricut. <laughs> I know. I I really should. Um, I would like to do that. The other issue I have is um, with the letters in the Cricut is how you stick them on the page afterwards. Like, do you use the, the glue stick or is there some other adhesive that's better? Sometimes I use this, but I always kind of feel like it's taking too much time. I don't know. So a lot of times I use American Crafts letter stickers. But, um, hmm, I think that the little note will sort of be, I think the journaling on it will be like, uh, now what did you do? You know, kind of like I'm talking to them <laughs> in my scolding mom voice. Um, okay. Yeah, that's what it is, so it's going to be.
Okay, so this is, I just wrote my journaling. I don't know if you can, uh, there it is. And now I'm going to read it to you. <laughs> it says, okay, children, you will sit right here right now at the circle table because it's time for a family meeting. Wait till your dad hears this one. You know bad behavior equals a bad consequence. And then I wrote blah, 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 because I think that's like eventually what they hear. Um, <laughs> And that's why we always say, now repeat after, you know, now tell me what I just said. And so I should probably put that tell me what I just said thing somehow into the title. Um, I don't know. Um, maybe with my other little circling journal thing, I can possibly put that sneaking out over here as another journaling place. Yeah, Tina's saying the glue stick or scotch quick dry and the glue pen is great for small letters. So that's good to know. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think I just want to cut this down just a little bit. A little bit smaller so it's going to just totally fit within the space. I don't, I don't think you can really there? Uh, yeah. And so in this one, I'm Okay, so the journaling in this little pink thing says, uh, you see, um, that one says, now go stand in the corner till this thing buzzes, and I'm holding up the little timer, and then you need to tell me what I just said. I'm serious. And so I usually also make them write down what their offense was, and then what the consequence is, and how they're going to do better next time, and all sorts of things. And my son does not enjoy the writing process. He's really smart and can spell words really well, but he's not in love with having to write. So that's always like kind of a worse punishment than anything else I give him to make him write. Um, ah, I don't know where to put the title, but I'm thinking the title is either going to need to be black or white. Um, and it's either going to go oh, here or not there. Here or maybe, I don't think it's going to go up here. I think maybe it's going to go here and it's going to be small. And I have like these little letters that I think might work. I have two sets of letters I think might work. I'll be right back. I also keep all my letter stickers together. So, um, and I got a lot of American Craft stickers, uh, letter stickers at a discount store for super cheap. And I, I stocked up. Um, okay, but I do have these little tiny type letters by Cosmo Cricut that I think I'm going to use for this little space. And then to do something else down here, I believe. So, I think I'm just going to write time for a family meeting. And I'm just going to write it going up. Or how about just family meeting time. I think that will... I'm not super precise in my letter placement. I could probably do a lot better in the titling department, but Again, I like to try to do things as fast as I can in scrapbooking. I don't know why. Probably in everything, though. I think probably you scrapbook like you live. And so I like to get a lot done, and I like to get it done fast. <laughs> so why should scrapbooking be any different? Um, da, 
that's just kind of how I like to do things. So family meeting time. We have a lot of family meetings. <laughs> Okay, you say like no toys at the table and we have all sorts of little things that we say. It would be interesting, I think, to hear what my kids had to say about the family meetings um, at some point when we're not actually in a meeting, like if we're driving somewhere, you know, just to see, like sometime when I would be talking to them when they weren't in a confrontational demeanor and to find out what they think <laughs> of the family meeting. But you know what they say about parent parenthood is you just keep repeating things and even if it seems like they're not listening, they probably are and the way that you know that's true is think of all the times your parents were like blah 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 but guess what, like that stuff stays in your head forever so I think there's something to that. So that's where I am so far. I'm not completely loving where I put that family meeting, but that's okay. Um, so that's family meeting. <sighs> yeah, I really don't love that, but I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to, we're just going to go with it. So now I either need, I think maybe white. Oh, the camera eyes, sweet nothing. I have this little Remember, remember, I know that's really generic, but it's pink and it could fit in somewhere. Remember, remember. Yeah, I might do that as my title and then, um, in the corner, but I might refer something with those tiny little letters to. Um, the D's of the circle table or something like that. So, yep. That's what I shall do. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go down. So it's going to say the circle table and then underneath it it'll say remember. Because the circle table will be a thing of the past so they will need to remember that. And so that's how this looks here. And then when I'm doing, what I want to do is I want the end of that to line up with this side of the paper, so I'm actually going to like spell that backwards. So sometimes when I do that, I will um, write it out just so I get all everything correct and don't forget. Um, I know a lot of people will use a ruler or something, like a lot of times I'll use this clear ruler so then I can properly place the letters. But that's when I want to be pretty precise, and I just, I don't need to be that precise right now. Um, so I want to write the circle table, because that's what this is about. Remember the circle table. I'm going to start with my E. I like this little tiny type. Cute. I think I got this in a kit that I got when I was an Ella Publishing friend. Ella Publishing is a, it's like when Simple Scrapbooks went out, um, Angie Lucas was the managing editor at Simple Scrapbooks, and then she and Lane Amen, who also was, I think, on the editorial board there, um, came up with Ella Publishing, and it was kind of like their answer to, you know, what do, what do all the people that love, what about all those people that love simple scrapbooking, you know, where are they going to go? And Ella Publishing is so much like Simple Scrapbooks was, and uh, it kind of has the same friendly feel of the people involved, and um, also the look is very much the same. But it's not really the look that, I, I like the look, but that's not the biggest part that attracted me to Simple Scrapbooks or to Ella Publishing. It's more 
I think just the the um, the personalities, I guess, of the people because they're just so nice, really. Um, but I guess all scrapbookers are very nice, but these people just were, I don't know, just very, very sweet, nice, lovely people. So I love it there. I love I love, I love publishing. I love um, I loved simple scrapbooks. I just I thought that was awesome. So I was sad when it left, when it went away. This was simple scrapbooks, if you've never seen it. Um, it was just a, like a scrapbooking magazine. And I actually, I think my only published layout was in simple scrapbooks. Not this one, but another one somewhere. Get it somewhere. Um, so that was very exciting for me. Um, but otherwise, I really haven't had any layouts published. I don't really, um, I don't really submit, so I, uh, <laughs> you know, wonder why I'm not published. Well, one reason could be I, n I don't really, um, submit. I used to submit to Simple, but I really enjoyed their, their calls or their challenges, and so I really enjoyed being a, an Ella Publishing friend because it was like the same kind of call outs, you know, like make a page that, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, um, wow, I have 59 viewers on this. That's bizarre. Hello. I've only seen Tina and Jimmy Fap Fap in my <laughs> chat. So if anybody else is viewing, like, say hi, um, if you like. Um, yeah, this, I think this page is done. So this is the page. And I will, and I photograph my layouts. I don't scan them because I don't know how to stitch. And I really don't care to learn. Um, my husband thinks I'm technologically, you know, not so wonderful. But he is technologically wonderful, so he usually does all of that kind of stuff for me. But um, I just photograph my layouts, and then I will post that on my... Uh, I will post that on my blog. My blog is Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking at typepad.com. I'm going to put you back over here. I think it's maybe a better angle to talk. Okay. Yes? I don't know. But um, anyways, I am Katie Scott with Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking. I'm on typepad at um, Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking at typepad.com. I'm also on Twitter as Katie F. Scott and hi Carrie and I'm I'm all I'm almost getting ready to go. I there will be lots more uh, videos. I was saying this morning that this feels a lot like when I started first started blogging and how much <laughs> you know how much you find you have to say. So I feel like I have a lot to say and I want to scrapbook with people. So that's the page I made tonight and that's kind of the the idea behind my show. At some point I will have. Um, I'll have a schedule, but at this point I'm just trying to get a feel for how long and when and what kind of works. So that's my page. This is my old page, and I will post the sketch on my like, on my blog. So thank you and thank you, Tina. And Tina um, said she teaches uh, how to use Cricut and Gypsy. Also, I believe she said. And so, Tina, where can people find you? Your Paper Pantry. She says, I'm with Your Paper Pantry. So do you have a... Oh, they removed your URL. So I'm sure that Tina Hales, H-A-L-E-S, is in Ustream. So you can probably, like, what do you connect with them? Or you become part of their crowd. So I will become part of your crowd. And thank you. And, um... I hope you stay warm up there in Canada. Um, okay, signing out. Goodbye.